Hello everybody and welcome to How Much Channel. Today we're gonna talk about the Ant Miner S. This is the R4. It's the new Ant Miner to mine bitcoins at your house. Um, we're gonna do an unboxing and then we're gonna install it. This is Ben right here. He's, Hi, I'm Ben. He's new to bitcoins, so um, um, it's a good opportunity for me at the same time to teach him what bitcoins are and how does it work and how mining works. Right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I haven't uh, even seen one of these things yet. Yeah, yeah, give the honors. <laughs> All right. So I I never seen it in person. I only saw it online. So I'm pretty excited to see how it looks like. Wow. So you can build your own Bitcoin machine, or? Yes. Uh, basically, they come pretty much already made. So this is from the mine pool, right? Yeah. So this one is from Ant uh, from uh, Bitmain. From Bitmain. From Bitmain, yeah. Oh, Bitmain? Okay. Alright, let's, oh, let's pull it up. Oh. Okay. It's safe to open that one. Yeah, it's got the phone. Whoa. Okay. That's the rig. That's that's one one machine, one mining machine. Okay. So it comes uh, one device. It needs a power supply, so that's why this is here. Uh, we'll open that too later. Um, it comes with a little warranty instruction kind of thing that you can see later. Okay, let's open it. Okay. Alright, so let's tilt it on the side. Yeah, let's take those foam out. So which side is it on? You have to put it on. Okay. This. That's how it is. Okay. And the middle one. I got this. Wow. Oh, All right. Let me see. Uh, probably need to tilt the camera a little bit so you guys can see. So, how much does one of these cost? So, th one of those is probably like two grand, uh, maybe a little less, depending on how much they sell it online and who sells it at a time. Um, this is not my first time with a, with a Bitcoin miner. I already learned over time that uh, there's things you have to check first time you're opening the box because um, a lot of times they come damaged because they come so far away from China. Okay. So first thing I'm checking is I'm shaking it a little bit. Oh wow, look at this. So you can see here all the... Ventilation? Yeah, this is the ventilation here. Um, Holy crap. And all those little things that you see, those are heat sinks. It has two motherboards. Yeah. Why? There are two hashing boards. Oh, okay. It's called a hashing board. All right. And here's the fan. Um, this is a big fan here. You see all yeah. this huge fan? Wow. The reason is, is because it's cooler that way. It's gonna get uh, and it's really not, hot. And it's also not as noisy. Okay. Okay, so here's the machine. That's all it comes pretty much. That's it. What, what kind of GPU does it have? Um, those things are not really... Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't really know, but the basics is what matters is the power. Okay. The power of this machine is 8 tera hashes, which is 8,000 giga hashes. Um, I will show you guys the calculation. I'm going to do some calculations of the current time that I made this video of today of how much I assume we're going to make from this. And the reason I got this machine is because it does create heat. It is winter right now in California and it helps me heat up the, the house. It's and pretty it's, cold right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a little chilly right now, so I'm pretty excited to run <laughs> it. And um, hopefully this will save me some money on the, on the heating cost as well of the house. So that's the reason I got it. Uh, it just makes sense, all of those together. So, yeah, do you have any questions? No, I'm just excited to get this thing running. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to go to the area where we're going to install it and we're going to hook it up to the power supply right here. Um, actually, let's, let's do a demonstration right now of how it's going to be hooked up. Let me take a look here. Oh, here you go. So, it's going to be, the power supply gets plugged in here. I believe there are one, two, three, six, six uh, power cords that go from the power supply to the uh, hashing boards, three each, and then one to power up the board itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine needs 800 watts, um, 800, 900 watts to run. So my power supply is 1,600. I always go more, just in case. And how, how much was it, you said? 
This is cost me about two grand, maybe uh, less. Not, not this one. Uh, not the cost. I mean, how much? How many watts? Eight hundred watts. Eight hundred to nine hundred watts. This machine takes. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot, you know. So okay, so let's open up the power supply. This is not a new power supply, but I'll kind of show you guys um, the setup right now. How to do it? It's very, it's pretty simple after you do it a few times. So when you go with power supplies above 900 watts, 800 watts, they looks like that. They don't have any cables coming out of it. It's um, a massive box. Yeah, it's huge. But there's no cables coming out of it, which is kind of nice because you can hook up the cables that you need, which I need seven of them. So I'm gonna hook up seven um, VGA cables. Like video card power power cables pretty much mm -hmm. all right so I have another pack here of the cables you can open it yeah go ahead that's what the cables look like exactly so you have this one has two VGA you see uh -huh. one this one goes to the power supply yeah. and two come out so we need seven total, so that's two. You have seven total where they connect to. Okay, so. So, oh, you have one there. One there and then six there, three for six each. Six there, that's you. Let me be extremely careful with your expensive uh, That's machine. fine. Yeah. yeah, okay, I they're, see. They're pretty sturdy. I, yeah, I see it. Do you see? So yeah. what I do first is um, I plug it in here first. So here you go, plug it into VGA1, the power cord to the power supply. Okay. So this so. guy. Do it. Yeah. Okay, so this is goes here. VGA. Oh, the VGA. Right. More force. Here okay, we go. There we go. So that's two. Why is there like a two-piece one? Oh, it's a great question because um, I believe some some video cards they have um, eight of those little pins, but the Bitcoin machine use six. So we're gonna disregard that and just plug in, you know. Okay. So this will be disregarded. I mean, I'm not gonna cut it, but I'm just not gonna use it. Okay. So here's two. Okay, so uh, you wanna plug it one. into this one here? Not yet, we're gonna not do yet? that. Okay, we're gonna uh, do it upstairs. Okay, we're gonna gotcha. upstairs. okay, so here's, that's four. Uh, this is VGA four? No, that's like, not, that's like four of them. I'm just counting how many. Oh, okay. This is VGA two. I go VGA one, two, three, four. I don't think it matters, but. Oh, okay, yeah, I put it in. Just to kind of like. Uh, doesn't matter, it. just put it in. Yeah, just put ah, it in. You got it. Here is one, so it's an uneven number, so we do five right now. And I need one that has two. And here you go. Five, six, seven. Okay, now we're gonna have seven. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then okay. the last part is the power cord. Look how thick that is. Whoa! It's huge. This is the thickest cable I ever seen. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, we're going to plug this in to the power supply as well. Which goes over here. Yeah, let's turn it. Like, Look, it's proper cool. Yeah, this is crazy. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug it in. Okay, so it's plugged in. So, the power supply is all ready for me. I always prepare it. This is ready for me. Um, all I need to do is gonna go to the location I'm gonna install it at, plug in all the power, and then plug in the Ethernet cable. The next step will be go online, find the IP address for this miner. It creates a new IP address for the miner, and go in and put my own pool information. Remember you mentioned mm -hmm. what kind of pool I'm using? I'm using Ant Pool because it's easy. I trust them, and uh, you can use any pool you want, or you can. Mine solo. I would recommend you to mine in a pool. Solo is pretty much like luck. Um, if yeah, you... so and that's what I've read online. Solo, you can end up with almost nothing, and with the mining, you, you're pretty much guaranteed to get something out of it. Exactly. So when you're mining in a pool, basically what happens is you and a bunch of the friends and people online community, they all mine together as one unit, and then they have more chances to gain the game the bitcoins every 10 minutes 12 and a half so the more people you have in the mining group mm -hmm. the more chance you have the more chance the group to earn the bitcoin and split the profits to everybody 
So, so in total, how many bitcoins do you get personally in your account? So that man, that means uh, basically the amount of bitcoins you get from the pool depends on how much hashing power you have. Okay. So for example, this power, this this uh, miner, um, ant miner R4, uh, can produce eight terahashes. So in the pool total, it probably petahashes, you know, thousands of terahashes. So you will get the percentage. Depends on how much power you you help in the group. So the more help you give, the, the more, more help, you get. The more okay. you get. That's pretty much it. So the more work you give, the more money you get. So um, I'll give you guys the numbers. I'll calculate for you guys. I'll use the calculator and I'll show you guys how much I think I'm gonna make from this. I can guarantee that you can make that. Of course, there's many um, factors like how much Bitcoin is worth, the difficulty level. Uh, I think people that are mining, they're mainly people that love Bitcoin in general and know that there are a lot of risk to it and they do it sort of for fun, maybe for some money too. Back then, yeah, 2010, 11, 12, those are the times when mining uh, Bitcoin was not popular and mining was very easy. Mm -hmm. You could have used any laptop pretty much to mine Bitcoin. You know? Oh really? Yeah. Or, or and video. that's why it's getting, it's getting harder and harder now and that's why you need these expensive machines to run it. Exactly, and I'm fortunate, I already know, in 9 or 10 months, or maybe 13 months from now, a year, these machines will be kind of like two week, uh, not that much money, it might not be profitable. So you, have to, you have to keep updating it? Keep, keep selling it, buying a new one, you know, if, if there is a new one, you know, it really depends. Uh, so, um, that's how it works, so basically, I will always recommend to check what kind of machine is out there, uh, how much difficulty we have, you know, to, yeah. to be better, to make sure you're in the profit zone, you know. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we're gonna go upstairs right now and show you guys how it works upstairs. Okay, okay. so this is my first time plugging everything in. Uh, Idan's gonna explain to you guys what I'm plugging in and why you need to, and uh, here we go. All right, man. All right, so this is the Ethernet cable, that's right. Plug it in. Here, yep. the IP report. Yep, you just plug in that internet cable to your router. Okay. And so this is VGA cable one. Here's number two. Let me get so it's not an awkward angle. Put it right here. That way? Yeah, I need the other way. Okay. Yeah, those cables can be a little hard sometimes, so it's normal to manipulate them. First. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's on the way. I know. It's I will a little probably have to tape it down with like electric tape or something. <laughs> yeah, it can be on the way. Yeah. Okay. Easel. Okay. So he's basically plugging in uh, three power cables, VGA, uh, video card power cables to each hash board. Yeah. Okay. Cool. A little more. It's not. Oh. Uh, I made the clicking sound though. All the way in here. Oh, wait, okay. Yep. See, this is why I'm the noob. <laughs> I've been doing this hundreds of times. <laughs> but you get used to it after a while. Yeah. So Eventually, your fingers evolved uh, <laughs> accordingly. They uh, they grew, grow mm. in a way you can... They grow smaller. So <laughs> <you're able to. laughs> all, right. all right, there we go. So, so this is all plug in. Now, this is the scary part. Um, if you don't mind uh, taking care of the camera now. Okay. Okay, so... You can see it's already in the wall. Yeah, so it's plugged in. I put it in its own plug here. Yeah, it's the one with uh, the fat head. Yeah, maybe sometimes a, a surge protector is better, but uh, I'll put it here for now. All right, Oops. here comes uh, the moment of truth. I'm always scared when I do this. Just be prepared uh, for a disaster, I guess. Oh, I even forgot. <laughs> okay, so what we forgot is I'm going to go bring it. Um, what did you forget? <laughs> we forgot to... So in order for this, for the power supply to turn on, you have to have um, a jumper in the power supply to turn on. Because if not, it's waiting for the computer to make it turn on. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to go bring, bring it, the jumper, and I'm going to plug it in. I'm back. So here it is. Guess um, who's back? It's huge. All that just for the... Just for that little cap here. Okay. Um, okay. Just for this little cap to, you know, it has a little jumper inside. So where does this one go? Here it is. There we go. 
Oh, uh, second plug. All right, it's all plugged in. I'm scared. Oh wow, this thing is quiet. Wow, look, there's a green light. Okay, <laughs> so basically there's, um, I'll explain you what it means. So basically the green light is indicating that it turns on and um, we're gonna wait. This is important here, those two LEDs. This will tell you if it's actually managed to do the whole process and log in and start hashing or not. And that's the important part. Now, straight off the bat, I can tell you, compared to the Antminer S7, S... Um, oh, there you go. Now yeah. it's making noise. Yeah, but even it's not that much, you know. Is it mining Bitcoins right now or it's not? It's mining Bitcoins, but probably under a name that's not really... Not oh, connected. the air is coming out this way. Oh, really? So, uh, is this, I didn't know. So the air intake is from here. Air goes in here, comes out here. Okay. Right here. So, so then we're gonna switch it around. We're gonna make sure it works first, and we're gonna switch it around so then the air um, facing this way and not the wall, because we want to kind of spread the air around. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't make a lot of noise. Yeah, and you're gonna you you want it as a heater in your house. Yeah, I'm gonna use it as a heater, and it's probably sounds like a heater. Nice little radiation heater. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't radiate too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much things. So let's wait a little longer. It does take a few minutes to initiate, and then I will know it's actually working. Enough to I still don't feel any heat yet. Oh, it's so. only turned on. So yeah. So we're gonna wait a little bit. Um. It is scary to do it the first time, uh, but so far I, I didn't burn anything. Um, I did burn one ant miner because of a power surge, like a lightning hit. And even though I had a really? yeah, I had a no way. I had the internet app. I had a, like a power surge and protection, and mm -hmm. it didn't help. It still burned. So now, where do you keep your bitcoins? Is it on a hard drive that you own, or is it uh, on like a cloud kind of service? Great question. So today there are multiple companies that uh, turn the camera. Yeah. On. So today there's multiple companies that um, will basically save your bitcoins for you. You log in your information. They will use um, a lot of security to to store your bitcoins and let you also send and receive money. You can also do it the old school way, which is using the original uh, Bitcoin file that runs on Windows and then store your Bitcoins there and um, send and receive Bitcoins and you can actually store it on a USB stick. Uh, but that way is a little bit more risky, I think, because if someone hacks to your computer, they can steal it. Where in Coinbase, um, you can actually add securities like um, security questions, uh, confirm with the phone number that your, um, confirm with the, with the phone number that you're actually a real person that buying or selling bitcoins or sending it. Or mining them. Or mining it, sure, you know. And uh, it's just convenience, you know, right away it gives you on the app the, the address, you can just give it to someone right away. Um, uh, so I trust them. What was my question? So if you had, if you stored, uh, what's it called, bitcoins on a hard drive, of your own, mm -hmm. you privately own that hard drive, uh, and it breaks, like it's an SSD or something, it gets like, I don't know, the power surge is way too hard, Bitcoins are gone forever. Yes, yeah, so uh, it, there's stories about people a long time ago, uh, when the Bitcoin started, like six years ago, seven years ago, where um, they had hundreds of Bitcoins stored on a hard drive, and there were, <laughs> back the then, hundreds. Uh, oh dude. <laughs> Yeah, back then it was like a penny, you know, two pennies, a dollar, whatever. They're like, oh, whatever. Um, By the way, the value of Bitcoins is at, uh, was it 936 right now? Right now it's 930, it's more, it's 950, 970. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. So we have yeah. a green light here. It's mining. It's, I, I think the bl blinking means like it's initiating the mining. Uh, it needs to be solid, I believe. They might change it, but let me see if I can feel some heat. Okay, I feel heat. Nice. Look, you have an SD card slot right there. Oh yeah, so to load up a new um, like algorithm or something. Or yeah, like a like a new firmware or uh, stuff like that. I never used it in my life. Okay. Because you can access it. Maybe if you get locked out, maybe you change the password. You don't remember the password. You get locked out. 
So how do you how do you get this uh, how do you get the bitcoins to your to your uh, private account? That's a great question. So in order to actually receive the bitcoins, once you register to um, Antminer, okay. Once you have the machine running, you register to Antminer, and you um, in Antminer you put your username and password, of course, and you tell them your bitcoin address, mm -hmm. your wallet address. And that wallet address, it, it will know to give you every day, it sends you the Bitcoins. So every day, it will send you the Bitcoins that you earn over your mining uh, time. So that's how it works. Cool. Yeah, it's basically, um, you give them the Bitcoin address and it send it there. And it will keep doing it forever until you change it, you know, oh, every very day. Nice. Very nice. So it's a pretty much set and go. Um, the only things to consider is cleaning it, uh, heating, heating is very important. If it's too hot, those machines get hurt. Um, they get damaged, they get burned. So heating is very important. Um, I think with heating, this will be a little easier because it takes less watts. Yeah, I don't think you need to manage it too much because you got a big ass fan going exactly. from here all the way down to here. Yeah. So I think you're good on the heating. The only concern is usually the winter, people like throw those machines in the garage, which I did too, um, and the garage can get really hot, so you kind of have to find a way to, you know, make sure the, the room doesn't get too hot and stuff like that. So I think it is, I don't think it's mining full power right now because I can see it's blinking. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the, uh, the GoPro here, we're going to go to the computer, record and see what basically... Uh, We'll, we'll look for the IP address, find the IP address, and log into the to the system here of the Antminer. Antminer has its own kind of like a server, I guess a server. You log into it, and then you'll be able to see what's going on, um, how much it's mining, if it's not mining, and change it to our mining um, user and address of Antpool, so we can get the profit. Because by default, it goes to the company who makes it. So. Um, they're gonna make the profit obviously not cool. So you have to go in and change yeah. it to yours right away. Give me my Bitcoin <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So see you guys soon right. Welcome back guys and uh, right now what we're gonna do is um, We're gonna go in and change the settings on the ant miner and I'm not sure it's running So we're also gonna check why at the same time So the first step is to check and find what's the IP address for the ant miner R4 so I'm going to use advanced IP scanner and I'm going to see if I can find it. So my address for the, this end finder is 192.168.0.11. It does change sometimes. Okay, password by default, root and root. Okay, and Antminer R4, I'm going to check the status, so let's see what it says here. Oh, it does hash, wow. Wait, so you, you found yours? Yeah, I found it, uh, it's mining, temperature says 81, that's way high, I don't know why it says that high. Uh, I'll check that later, see why the temperature is so high. Uh, I might need to do a little more... Um, So basically, this is what you're gonna do. So by default, it's already at and pool. So this is already correct. And then the worker, you use your worker name, whatever is your worker name. Password doesn't mean anything. You can put anything in here. Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that. Now Antminer does have three IPs, and we're gonna use all three for each one as a backup. So this is 443, and this one is 25. So I have all the three different IPs. And so that's all, that's all you do. If you're using slash, so slash is pool, you have to change this to whatever is fits you. All right, save and apply. This will take a few minutes, and then we're gonna go check if we actually see the power mining on the end pool account. I'm gonna go back here and see. I'm gonna go along in here. Um, I can hear the fan going. For some reason, I thought it was you. The, <laughs> the computer <last> fan. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's very, very quiet. I'm very surprised. I mean, I don't know about living right next to it when you sleep right next to it in your room, but you know, living room or something, it should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's gonna heat your feet. Put it by your feet. You know. Put it by your feet. Yeah, put it by your feet. I put on some marshmallows. Cold, yeah. <laughs> you know, get get all the use you can. You know, bake some potatoes. Marshmallows. You know, just <laughs> get some chocolate right next to it. Make some s'mores. Yeah. Uh, 
I did mm-hmm. notice uh, this. Then when you fail to actually cool it correctly and then it lights on fire, and you just go camping right <laughs> <around> <laughs> Just go camping in your house with a fire. It would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> What does it mean pull one, two, three? Is that each so one basic, of your Bitcoin, your, each one of your machines? That's a good question. No, actually that's like a backup. So it will try to log in to pull one address. Okay. And then it, if it fails, it will go to pull two and pull three. That's what it's for. Okay. Yeah. Um, Trickles down. Yeah. So then a lot of times there's different, this one just have one port, but they sometimes have different ports. Welcome guys, I'm just giving you um, um, a little bit of information of what happened. So I put the right mining configuration, which is Anful, my user, and no password needed. Now the mining mining at uh, 8,000 giga hashes, which is good. My temperature is 81. I need to research if that's too high or too low, but it looks good. Everything looks great. So enjoy, guys. Please like and comment. Um, I really appreciate it. Ask me any question you want, and I really recommend you guys to just buy bitcoins if you don't, if you can't afford a machine. Um, but def- definitely Bitcoin might change the world. So see you guys soon on the next video.